In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a genomic map in GenVision. The first thing to do is launch GenVision. It's listed under Utilities in the Navigator. And in this example, I'm going to be working in the GenVision standalone application. However, it's worth mentioning that GenVision also runs as a plugin to Adobe Illustrator. And everything I'm going to show you here can also be applied to the GenVision plugin. So first step is to open the file. And in this case, I already have a GenVision file set up with some of my data. So I'll open that. And what I have here is a GenVision figure with files exported from GeneQuest for the genome of E. coli TY2482. And this was a strain of E. coli that was isolated and sequenced during the 2011 German outbreak. And the GenVision panels that are included here are a scale, histogram showing cut sites for enzymes, BLNI and XBAI, and a graph showing GC content along the genome. Now I can start by making edits to these panels. For example, let's say I want to make one of the enzyme cut site histograms red. To do that, go back to GenVision, double click on the panel name, and change the default color. Let's say we want to use red. Click OK, click OK again, and to see what that change looks like, we'll hit Run GenVision and we'll say no just to see a preview. There you can see that the histogram is now red. Now let's say we want to bring some more data in. There's a couple ways to do this. The first way is similar to how we open the project, except we would use the import button. And that allows us to import an entire GenVision project and all the data that goes with it. So for example, you could import a GenVision file exported from SeekBuilder. I'm actually not going to do that right now, but if you're interested in learning how to do that, I'll provide a link at the end of this video to another video that walks through those steps. In this case, what I'm going to do is import a data file that's already set up with a histogram. So to do that, I'll select new panel and then histogram. This is the new histogram dialog and it's asking me to locate the file that I want. So I'll click browse and then I'm going to go to the text file I have set up. And the text file I've chosen here contains data showing regions that are conserved between different strains of E. coli, as well as regions that are unique to the strain of E. coli shown here. Click OK. And you can see that this histogram was placed between the two histograms for my enzyme cut sites. If I want this graph to be shown on the outermost ring of the circle, I just drag it to the top. And now we can see what that change looks like by hitting the Run GenVision button. And here you can see the histogram was added in the color shown in the file. Now, a couple of things about this. One, you notice it's pretty large, and two, it's butting right up to that scale. We can fix both of those directly in GenVision. To fix the size issue, we're going to change the relative size by clicking on the 30 here, and then changing that, say, to 15. And then to fix the issue of it hitting the scale, I'm going to add a blank panel by going to new panel type blank. Here I'm prompted to give a relative size. The default's 10, but I'm going to use five for this. And now that we've made those changes, we can see how that looks. And now the histogram is smaller and there's space between the histogram and scale. If you want to learn more about creating maps in GenVision, or any other features in our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.